Today, I'm going to be talking about one of the best features of your Tesla, which is the Tesla mobile app. All right, so if you're new to Tesla, you may not know this, but your Tesla mobile app has some of the best features of your car. You can do your climate, you can do summon, you can navigate, all your charging stuff is in here. It is a very useful thing that it has, and it gets updated all the time. I did a video about a year ago, but in tech times, that's like ancient history, because it gets updated all the time, new features come in, and uh, even since that last video, some really cool features came in. Uh, so I am on version 4.21.5, which just came out about two weeks ago, which is, what's the date today? It is May, no, June 19th, yes. Wow, time flies. Anyway, so let's get right into it though. Before I do, please take a second and subscribe. All right, when you open up the app, the first thing you're gonna see is obviously the car. Depending on what it's doing, if it's parked or moving, it's gonna be a different animation. Uh, above that is gonna be your name of your car. Uh, my name is Evie from my favorite movie, Wally. -E. Uh, below that is your range. It's either gonna be in percentage or actual mileage, depending on what you choose. And obviously below that is what you're doing. Uh, below the car icon is your quick controls. So these are actually customizable. Uh, so if you long press on one of them, it'll bring up the, all the customized controls. So right now I have the uh, icon, which is the lock, so unlock your doors. Uh, this is my winter setup. So what I do is uh, the one beside that with the open door is uh, it just, if you press that, uh, it'll unlock your door and you can just open up. This is good for cold climates when your uh, door uh, handles are frozen. Uh, beside that is the defrost and then your climate and your uh, charging controls. Uh, so other than the defrost and the thing and the door handle, I'm going to switch those out. So uh, to switch them out, what you do is you, I'm going to take the front, the frunk, you just uh, hold long press on it and drag it. Uh, and then I'm going to put the, uh, vent because it's summer in place of defrost. Uh, so there you go. Now you may notice that I have five icons to get the fifth. When you get your car, you only have four. So to get the fifth icon, what you want to do is take one of the icons and just drag it all the way to the far right and eventually drop it in as you'll get your fifth icon. I obviously can't show you two because I have already five. So it doesn't work that way. I can't get rid of the five. So once you go five, you can't go back just so you know. All right, uh, so just moving down the list, you got your flashing, your, your headlights, honking the horn, uh, you can fart if you want. Uh, do the remote start. Uh, for people who don't know what the remote start is, I do have a quick tip video on that, it explains all what uh, the remote start is. Then you have sentry mode, uh, your summon, you can access your summon, and then your trunk, and then your unlast door, like I said earlier. All right, so do what you want, pick your favorites. So below the quick icons, you have your control menu. So all these functions here are available in the quick control, but it just takes an extra step to get there. Uh, so we have the open and close of the front and trunk, as well as unlock the door itself, as well as your charge port. Below that is your flashing the headlights, honking your horn, the remote start again, as well as your bent. Up here in the top right corner is your PSI. So you'll have PSI information for all your tires, which is a new feature and kind of handy. So below that, we go into your climate. Uh, so here, once you first open it up, you'll see your seat heaters if available. Uh, I have the front two. Uh, you can turn them on. You can also put them on auto, whichever you prefer. And you can turn them both off or set the levels that you want. So below the car, you'll have the current temperature. Uh, it'll say the current temperature in the car as well as exterior. You can set your temperature what you'd like. You can also vent your windows and close them. Below that is your defrost your car again. If you pull up on the little icon here, you have camp mode and dog mode. Camp mode basically sleeps your climate on uh, while you feel, say you're camping in the car, sleeping in the car, or just in the car for a period of time. And dog mode will also keep the climate on for your pooch in the car. So while you're out shopping, make sure the dog is comfortable. It also put a little uh, display on the screen so that people know that the car is on and the climate's on and your dog is comfortable so they don't smash your windows. So below that is cabin overheat protection. You can set that at either 30, 35, or 40 degrees. And what that does is if the car reaches that temperature, it'll either kick in the AC or the fan to be able to keep those extreme temperatures down, uh, helps the safety of the computer as well as the interior of the car. So that's good. So below that is your location. It'll bring up basically a satellite view of where your car is. If you hit the little arrow icon on the top right, 
it'll bring up either Google Maps or Apple Maps and actually give you directions back to your car. And the satellite view, you can switch that off and put just a regular uh, street view. So below the map is a new feature. You can navigate to a destination. Before you can only do this while in the car. Now you can do it on your app. Uh, so let's put in Tesla Oakville. So it'll also tell you your uh, current state of charge, your arrival state of charge, and how long it'll take and your route. And then you can just send it to the car. And once you go back into your car, you're ready to go. It'll be on the map already ready to go. Um, below that, you can also have your nearby chargers. Uh, also, it'll say how many, how far away it is, how many stalls available, as well as if it's busy. You can see that a Tropical one is quite busy right now. So that's handy. And we're only talking about superchargers, not your level two or level three third party chargers. So below your location is Summit. So if your car is equipped with full self driving, you'll have the option to either move your car forward and back, as well as Smart Summit, which basically brings your car to you, which is one of my favorite features. When it works, it's not the greatest. Uh, well, actually, I find it works pretty okay. Um, all right, so below Summon is one of the most useful, one of my favorite features of the Tesla app, which is Schedule. So we go in here, and you can do this at specific locations. So if you're at home, you can set a schedule for there. If you're at work, you can also set a schedule for there. So for departure, you want to basically tell the car, when do you want to leave? Uh, so first you got to set a precondition. You want precondition the car, let's say at 6.15 a.m., either all week or just on weekdays. And if you put the off-peak charge, basically it'll tell you when your off-peak ends. So it'll make sure, let's say your off-peak ends at 6 a.m., it'll make sure to charge the car prior to that so that you're saving the most amount of money on your charging. So if we switch over to the charging side, basically that is when you want to start charging your car. Uh, so for me, sometimes I want to uh, start charging the car after 7 p.m., which is when the on-peak ends. So I can set it here, turn on enable scheduled charger, start the car at 7 p.m., and that's when I'll start charging. So it can be plugged in all day, but it'll only start charging at 7 p.m. So below schedule, you'll see security and driver. If you click on that, you'll see which phone is connected to the car, as well as you can turn on and off sensor mode, as well as view live cameras. So you'll have access to each individual camera, as well as the interior. And then below that, you can honk, flash, or fart to scare away potential thieves, as well as the microphone access beside it, where you can sound like a serial killer if the thief didn't take your fart seriously enough. Do you want to play a game? So below central mode is passive authentication. Basically, with your phone as your key, as soon as you walk into your car, the car will unlock. If you, it's a really convenient feature, but some people might not want that. So to turn that off, you turn, just toggle it off. So below that is valet mode, which restricts certain features of the car to the valet, like uh, screen access, won't access the glove box, and I believe the speed is also limited. So if you're doing valet, toggle that on. You also have speed limit mode, which is obviously for teenagers or stuff like that. You don't want uh, a, person, a specific person driving a certain speed, uh, so you can hit the little three icons, set a speed limit, and then turn it on with a pin. Uh, below that is manage drivers. So if you have any other drivers on your account, like spouses or family members, you can add and remove them here. So below security and drivers is charge stats, which is a new feature and it's been updated a few times. So here are your entire charge stats for the year. Uh, so as well as month. So for me, uh, from July 2022 to June 2023, I've charged a total of 5,953 kilowatts and I spent $617 in electricity, which is amazing. Uh, the gas savings would have been, I saved $3,038, and that, the gas equivalent would have been 3655 and that is based on actual gas prices in your local area, so it knows all that kind of stuff. It also says uh, the percentage based on when you're charging at home, superchargers or others, or at work. Um, you can also set the cost of specific... Um, electricity at specific locations. Uh, so for home, it'll, you can actually pick your actual service provider and it'll pick off the uh, rates from there, or you can set your own as well as some others. Let's say you have work and you, you get paid or you pay for a certain amount. You can set that like that. Um, 
so I my service provider out here has time of use. So it'll either separate the off peak, mid peak, and peak in percentage. And you also have charging tips, either to save money or charge sustainably and ready to roll, which is a new feature. I've not seen this before. Um, so different tips on how to save money for your charging, which is pretty cool, or how to do it more efficiently with sustainability like solar panels. So some info there. Let's get back. Uh, and then this is obviously available for the year, or you can scroll to the month. And obviously the last 31 days. So you can't really pick like June or July. It has to be the last 31 days, but the same info is all there. All right. Oh, you can. Oh, so you can swipe left or right, and that'll take you to the different months, which is pretty cool. Okay. So you can see all your charging stats from all the months. Uh, good for tax purposes if you're doing it for that. So moving down to upgrades. So here, if you have upgrades available, you will find them. Uh, I've pretty much maxed out my car. Model 3 wheel wheel drive doesn't have a lot of upgrades available, uh, but for like the Model Y, the accelerating boost, stuff like that, you'll see that here. You also have access to accessories on the Tesla website. You can buy it directly from here, which is cool as well. Uh, going into the software upgrades, um, right now the only thing available is rear heated seats that I can buy. There's also a subscribe, which uh, in Canada we don't have. In the US, you probably would see the uh, full self-driving feature here. So below upgrades is your service menu, uh, which is one of the most underrated features of your Tesla app. Uh, so you also have your history, of your Tesla service request, uh, there's handy video guides for helpful information on how to do stuff, or you can always tune in to Northern Tesla for all your Tesla video needs. Uh, below that is your owner's manual. This is available in the car, but I find uh, in the car it's really laggy, it takes forever. This is a really convenient way to uh, look up information and uh, look up the manual. Very easy to navigate. So then to request service, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna state your concern, uh, so let's say uh, windshield, uh, you're going to describe uh, what your problem is. For this, my state, it's like a stone chip. Add photos, which is required. Uh, you then go to the other screen, you'll add your address information. And from there, it'll either decide whether, based on your problem and your location, it'll decide whether it's going to be a mobile uh, tech that's going to come up to your location, or you're going to have to go to a service center. And from there, you just pick your date and you're all set, which is pretty easy. And once you have a, an appointment set, uh, the tech can message you through the app and you can have a bit of a conversation to try to see if there's any other solutions or if they need any more information, which is really cool. You don't get that from any other manufacturer. All right, down to roadside. So right here is the way you would uh, request roadside assistance. Uh, so you describe the problem, if they're a flat tire, if you're driving, have problems or you're charging. And then, um, so below that, Roadside is uh, your model, your VIN, and your current mileage. Also has the release notes for your current version of software. Uh, also specs and warranty, so what your car is currently equipped with, as well as warranty information, which unfortunately uh, mine is expired. Oh, I still have drive unit limited warranty. Yay, and battery. Okay, good. That's active, that's expired. So moving up is a feature that's recently made a comeback. Uh, so we have the loot box. So if you are referring friends and colleagues to get a Tesla, you will be rewarded with points now. Uh, so basically you get credits on when you refer people. Uh, so I have 2000 credits available. You can browse the store to see what you kind of credits you can redeem. So you can redeem for uh, supercharger miles as well as uh, clothing and apparel as well as car accessories and upgrades. I know you can upgrade to full self-driving or uh, I believe the subscription is available as well. So cool stuff there, check it out. So you wanna spread the word about Tesla, you'll get reward as well as your friend that you refer will also get these same credits. All right, uh, so beside the loot box is your car information. So if you have more than one car, uh, both cars will show up here as well as you could order the new Tesla products, as well as go through the Tesla shop, so for accessories and uh, apparel. Below that is your inbox. Uh, so once in a while, Tesla will send out messages. 
um, just either new features or tips, stuff like that. I know in the winter they had a few tips there. Uh, so again, below that is another access to your loot box. Then you have your account settings as well as add or remove products. What's this? So you can either add, let's say you buy a vehicle, this is how you'll add it to your Tesla app, as well as pull, uh, Powerwall and Solar. So below that is, below the loot box is your account. So you have your contact information. If you have to update your wallet, you need a credit card on file to be able to use a supercharger. Uh, so you do that there and there's some order history, charging history, and some other settings there. So that is the Tesla app. So thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. If you have questions about the app or you want me to go up more in depth with certain things, I'll definitely do that. Don't forget to also subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos, which I release about every week. Some how-tos, uh, some reviews, other cool Tesla stuff. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week. keeps the safe uh, fan or the AC so that it does like scooching. Oh, I guess there was a new update that did that. You can set it at 30, 35 or 40 degrees. And what that, so below that is cabin overheat protection. And what that does, thief and sound like a serial killer. If he didn't mean, if you didn't, can also honk, flash, or fart to distract. And f so you'll have access to all. So you'll have access. It's not fucking recording.